research matrix. I want to spend a few minutes today talking about alignment, specifically how we go about aligning topic sentences to sections and then sections back to overall thesis statement. So for this example, I'm going to assume that you're writing a longer document, let's say a 2000 word uh, literature review, where you're going to be having sections, maybe even subsections, and you're going to be having topic sentences that are going to begin each of your body paragraphs. So in this example, I want to use this thesis statement. Uh, and this thesis statement includes a transition, a topic, a main claim. In this example, we're going to use the preposition by to indicate different ways. And then in this example, we're going to include three key ways or three key points. Now, in your example, when you're writing a longer document, let's say for a 2000 word literature review, you're uh, likely to have anywhere from two to four key points. All right. But in this example, we're going to use uh, we're going to have three different key points. Now, in this example, once we have our thesis statement, we've listed at the end three, in this case, three key points, we're going to include now headings that relate back to each of the key points. Now, when you're finding keywords to include in your headings, we want to include keywords not only from the key points here listed at the end of your thesis statement, but also in your main claim. All right, so the main claim where it's going to express some kind of possible solution to the problem that you introduced in the, intro in the uh, transition. In this case, our keywords are cities, something about air quality, and, and then each of the key points. So ideally, we want to try to include a combination of those key, key points. In this example, I have a general heading where in this case, we have three words to indicate the heading. I would try to expand that so that the heading is a little bit more descriptive, provides a little bit more context. So I would try to shoot for six to 12 words in each of your main headings. So in this example, I have the more specific or contextualized headings off to the right of each example here. So in this first section, enforcing tougher standards to reduce vehicle and industrial emissions, this is going to be my first section. And within my uh, first section, then I'm going to include topic sentences that support this heading. Now with the topic sentences, make sure they're complete sentences. I would stick to primarily simple and, or complex sentences. I would try to avoid, for the most part, compound sentences in the topic sentence, which should communicate the main idea of, of the paragraph. So I would also avoid any uh, pronouns to begin the main clause of your topic sentence. I would begin with the main clause of uh, each of your topic sentences. So I would typically avoid any kind of introductory phrase or sentence connector. Not that it's not done, but when we start to get into body paragraph development, we'll be talking about a linking sentence that will conclude each paragraph, which will offer a transition uh, from one paragraph to, to the next. And for that reason, for the most part, I would suggest that you begin with the main clause you have some kind of noun uh, phrase as a subject. And in this first example, you'll notice that there's a gerund phrase being used twice in the first two sentences. And this is happening repeatedly as all of this text that you're looking at was generated by, by AI. So you'll notice that these are the tendencies that AI are uh, adhering to whenever they generate this kind of <clears throat> text. But when we write, we want to make sure that we are mixing up the grammatical structures, that we're not repeating so much, let's say, um, gerund phrases as subjects. And uh, in this case, we would probably want to reword either the first or second topic sentence in each of these sections so not to repeat uh, the same structure. But this should give you an idea of alignment. We're looking for topic sentences that relate back to the key section. And if anyone is using only two key points at the end of the thesis statement and wants to create only two sections, that's fine. 
the difference being that you'll have not only one main section or two main sections rather, you'll have at least two subsections for each of the two main sections. So in that case, if you only have two main sections and you have subsections within those main sections, then I would suggest that the topic sentences come immediately below or right below the subheadings, not, not the main heading. So you would have really two headings back to back. You would have the, the main heading and then just below that, the first subheading and then below that, your, your paragraphs or your topic sentences to begin with and then later your, your body paragraphs. Make sure that you have at least to two topic sentences for each heading or subheading, depending. And again, this is the idea when we develop our research matrix that we're creating our thesis statement, our headings, and our topic sentences so that we can, we can at, a, at a glance, look at how it's being aligned before we get into each body paragraph. This is going to provide a roadmap for us whenever we're writing our thesis paper. And if we can outline this, if we can create this outline and this roadmap for how we want to develop our literature review, it becomes that much easier to really begin anywhere in your, your paper to begin writing, right? It doesn't mean that you need to begin with the first body paragraph. You start with the one that you know the most about, that you feel like you can complete um, right away. And then as you get into uh, the rest of your, your paragraphs, you, you start to bring in extra uh, articles and uh, citations and start working on those that are a little bit more challenging or let's say new uh, to you. So try to create this research matrix, keeping this in mind, trying to align the topic sentences with the sections, and then obviously making sure that the headings align back to the thesis statement. And as you are looking over your annotated bibliography, or you're looking over your articles and you're finding citations and completing the research matrix, the, the goal here is to make sure that we have support for each of the topic sentences that we have listed here in our outline. So I hope this helps. If you do have any questions about alignment or want me to review your work, make sure you're reaching out to me. And this is um, what we'll be talking about in greater detail as we meet uh, in our classes.